Alexa, play Hold On by Justin Bieber. Hold On by Justin Bieber on Amazon Music. So you guys, little surprise. My mom got a new car. And this is actually the first time me I'm seeing it because she got it last night. Oh my God, so exciting. But yep, this is her car. Isn't it cute? We have two white ones now. But that one's technically mine, but you know. It's pretty basic, there's no bells and whistles like the last Okay, yeah. so. This is what the car looks like going this way. And it's got like the radio and the controls and stuff. Driver's seat. And then the back seat we have clothes to donate at the church. That's why it looks like that. But yep. Really simple and car. And to fit the chair in here. We're not taking it now. But good thing we have a chair that folds up. Because this is a little bit smaller than the other car. Um, but... That's why we got the chair that we did because we, you know, I'm not going to, number one, I'm not going to be with my parents forever. But number two is, you know, if I ever want to go out with friends or in their cars or whatever, like I need a versatile chair. So that's the one that we got. And um, yeah, to take it here, we'd either have to put one of the seats down or we would have to um, take apart the chair, which is just taking apart the cushion and the back piece and then folding it up in the middle. So, yep. So mom, interview time. Um, what kind of car is this? Subaru uh, Forester. A 2017 Subaru Forester? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> she doesn't know how to work the windows. I do, but they're automatic, so. Oh. Um, oh. And we got this because what was wrong with your other car? It needed about $2,500 worth of repairs. Oh, geez. Yeah. So and, yeah. And, um, I feel like I'm kind of high up, though, so that's kind of good. Yeah, you don't think it reminds you of the Mazda? I don't know. Hmm, yeah, I mean, I, do you need the seat straighter? No. No. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm leaning back, but... I Did think... your feet touch the ground on the last car? No. They, I'm, they never touch a gun anything. I, oh, I know, but I didn't know if they touched it. No. So now we're just dropping off uh, clothes donations at the church. This is the church that we go to. And they do like a closing, clo clothing fundraiser. So we're dropping off clothes. But yep, I don't, I don't mind the car. It'll be something to get used to like anything really. But it's good so far. So it is, tw yeah, it is pretty bright. So it is 12.48 and um, we're at my grandma's to help her out for a second. Uh, we got sandwiches from a local deli place and then we'll be going home. But we're running errands in the new car. And so far, so good. We also took it on the highway to get here because there's a little highway to get here. And uh it's pretty smooth, pretty smooth ride. So we are home now, and this is what the uh, seat looks like. It's a cloth gray seat, but I actually ordered, or my mom, you know, ordered me a, uh, just not the back part of the seat, but the, the, the butt part of the seat. She ordered me a leather seat cover, so it's easier for me to slide. Um, but the, the uh, next part that we have to figure out is, if I'm able to s drop down and slide off the seat. 
So I think I'll put you guys right here so we can see if I can do that. I think I can. I totally think I can. This goes wider, look. Oh, wow, that's real wide. Yeah, the back goes pretty wide, too. Yeah. I think I can get down. Next time we go somewhere, we get out of the car and we actually am. Um, well, we were just running errands. I don't yeah. Really get out of it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't going to get out. Get out of the car and actually, um, that wasn't a bad drop at all. I feel like that was the same towards your other car. No problem. But with that being said, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I do think that I have that I'll have more thoughts um, on the car as the days go on. But I, um, for now, I think it's a really good car, and um, I just think that you know a lot of the times things have to go into car shopping. Uh, that you don't really think about, like, um, where, where the wheelchair is going to go and, like, how I'm going to fit in it and, like, am I going to be able to move around and stuff. Um, but overall, I feel like my mom picked a really good car. I mean, obviously, you have to get used to it, like, with anything. Um, you have to get used to things, which is completely fine. Um, they're supposed to be really good in the snow, too, so that's good. But, yeah, I'm really happy for my mom. She deserves it. And, um, yeah, so I will update with my thoughts as the, um, the days go on. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Just out of curiosity, if you are a um, special, uh, I use the word special needs sometimes, like, depends. But you are a disabled person and or someone who has uh, different needs or is special needs or whatever um let me know uh what kind of car you have um because again this is a 2017 subaru forester um her last car was a 2013 um ford flex and my van is a 2016 dodge caravan i think so those are the three, or, well, two cars really, but three cars that I have experience with. Um, if you are a person like me who has physical challenges, uh, let me know what kind of car you like um, and you, pref you think that is easiest to get around in uh, because I'm just curious, you know? You never know what comes down the list and you never know who will need another car next and um yeah a lot of thought goes into what kind of car cars we buy in my family especially for me so um yeah let me know and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow